up guys? A little different walk yet again. I did a walk earlier, uh, but this walk right here is nighttime. And you know me guys. Let's go do this virtual walk right here. Hopefully the gimbal's working. Uh, this is Two Wong Crossing at night. And I have no real main plan to kind of go around in the beach this time. I just want to walk the strip and test it out at nighttime. Because, you know, at nighttime, stability and all that stuff is a little harder. We're gonna go through here, the place. This is a virtual tour for those who care about it. We're just going for a tour. Let me drop in and say hello. What's up? This is the second live stream today. Earlier I did one to test this gimbal out as well as try out um, how it is to go live with a gimbal. Uh, this is probably my, my second try using a gimbal and going live. Uh, I'm using the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It's a very interesting gimbal. Um, I don't think it's really built for small, uh, bigger phones, which is an iPhone 13 Pro Max for me, but we'll go ahead and still try it out. See, the turn is kind of weird, but here you go. Enough of my face, let's go on with this tour. All right, stability check. We are going for a tour. I don't know if you can zoom in with this. Nope. So, please drop into the comments and say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. This is now the place. Uh, pretty much, we're doing a test of, you know, how this gimbal is when I turn. If it's too slow or if it's too fast. We're just testing out this gimbal. We're here in Tumon, of course. One of the favorite places of me to vlog at. I'm messing around with a joystick at the moment. This is, like I said, Tumon, Guam. It's like a mini city of Guam. Because it kind of feels like a city with all the people, tall buildings, and you know, just people living. We're gonna go ahead and walk. Right here to my left is Vivian, Vivian Westwood. High-end brands. You got Kohan over here. Yeah, I don't think it turns as fast on the gimbal, but it works nonetheless. I think it's stable enough to, uh, you know, work left and right. We're gonna go back out into the streets in a bit. I just want to test this out while I'm walking, and also quality-wise. We're gonna go ahead and hit the street, streets of Tumon, San Vitoris Road. Uh, enough of my face, let's go for this virtual walking tour. I think the only sad part about using this is when I go 0.5, you will kind of see the gimbal's arm on the side. So here you go, it's ABC stores, the roof of ABC stores, famous Tumon crossing strip. We're gonna go ahead and walk through there. Let's go. Hey, I'm live streaming. Take care, have a great yeah. day, great night. <laughs> so, it is about 7.30 p.m. here in Tumon, Guam. We're gonna go ahead and, it might rain, I'm not so sure. We're gonna go ahead and walk the strip. This is how Tumon looks, night walk, very rare from my regular daytime morning walks so i hope you guys enjoyed this night walk for today ksm ksm you're the best thank you for joining me again i saw you earlier on the live stream uh half a day and Anyong from uh korea right korea on guam we do this it's a little shaka yeah, little shaka hey little shaka sorry there you go little shaka so we're in Guam. You have, if you have any, 
ASM, if you have any places here on Guam that you want to see, let me know. I'm still walking to Mon. So uh, I'll show you the strip, not my face. All right. Also, on one of my, my recent live streams, I want to show that uh, Underwater World the aquarium, it has become the Aquarium of Guam. And it changed, not Underwater World anymore. We're going to go ahead and keep walking down. A lot of changes, so RIP to Onward Wa Under Underwater World. Wow, there's pretty loud audio here now. They're jamming out onto the speakers. So if you're a vlogger, maybe this might not be great for you just because of the monetization and get your IHOP. This is probably the only IHOP now. I know the other IHOP in Tabuning is kind of gone, but I just noticed this menu. Look at that. Let's continue on with this virtual walk. Night walk here in Tumon, Guam. I guess next time I'll go across the street. I wonder how this works if I run. I'm trying to run. So we're seeing if it's good uh, quality of running on this gimbal. Wow, it's kind of busy on this part of the, everyone's getting dinner. This is beach and shrimp and each street grill. Pretty little busy spot over here. They have love crepes over here. Yeah, Woo. and usually on the weekends, this giant TV is on and there's like music playing for Club Zo. But this is Tumon at nighttime. This is the strip. I had to get past that part because all of these speakers with the music playing. I'm gonna get uh, all that copyright strikes and this video won't be, you won't hear it. It won't be playable and you won't hear it. You know, it's just crazy like that nowadays. There's Kip Mom. We're going to go ahead and cross. Over here we have uh, a Nemos on the right. And this is BG Tours, their office. This is my first time actually seeing this open. Because uh, I've actually seen them making this, this little glass thing. Look at that. It's pretty interesting. My first time seeing it open at night. crazy this is i guess where you get the tickets for our, your shows that they have here you know it's kind of crazy also we're back on to this gimbal just over there is green lizard and of course people enjoying their night walk here what's up mark hey hey mark joe hey nice to meet you man nice to meet you well from from Texas. Oh, you know me from the vlog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, awesome. Good. Let's go say hi. This is Joe, dude. Hey. This is like random because earlier today I had like random live stream. Well, I'll just, just kind of showing the thing. My first time using a gimbal. Really? It's kind of weird. How long are you here for? Uh, I'm stationed here. Oh, awesome. Welcome yeah. to Guam, man. Hop Thanks. The uh, so you watched the videos before you came over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you. This is the new homie, Joe. He's here from Texas. Yep. If you ever see him, give him a hop a day. Yeah. Hey, I'll catch All you right. later. Nice to meet you, Joe. Really nice, nice to meet you. Take care. That was cool. Whoa, kind of. Uh, sorry, the gimbal really is uh, hard to use, but it's really nice to meet you, Joe. That was cool. Like, that's random. Earlier today, we actually had, uh, yeah, other like people say hi. I mean, even the other week. This one is cool, Joe. Uh, I'm happy you went up and said hi. That's cool. And you got a cameo in the video, dude. Uh, so yeah, Joe randomly said hey what's up mark and said hi good uh good meeting you joe hey what's up ksm ksm beautiful night it is a beautiful night let's stop with my face let's show you more of the views all right here you go so before they used to have this cool stuff right over here it was called slingshot and i think 
they sold it and some of the the memorabilia of slingshot is actually at the slingshot uh coffee station now uh it's sad that it's a dark lot now parking lot but they used to have like this cool like i guess thrill seeking thing over there but that's cool man i'm pretty still uh amazed you know uh getting spotted by joe again thank you joe for saying hi and welcome to guam you know so it's nice it's nice that uh you know i'm a i'm like a year in into vlogging like uh like real vlogging you know like youtube style on a small channel but with this channel i want to do those like you know these videos when i ha when i had the time and when i can uh make these videos for people so when they see guam they know how it's kind of gonna be and or you know they get to see what other events guam has and stuff and also for those missing guam uh make this like a little time capsule for everyone to uh you know look back on or see how guam is doing just random stuff like that uh that's kind of sketch little kid playing out on the road yeah so i don't know where our route is where we're gonna stop and turn around at but uh nightlife it's crazy because uh the nightlife here is uh kind of non-existent there used to be vikings over there but it's gone now, Porky's always a fun time. We're gonna go ahead and cross. I'm not so sure where. Oop. Come on, don't die on me. Don't die. The gimbal just died out, guys. Don't die. Alright. We're back. Alright, I, I don't know this gimbal. It just decided to go limp and die. So uh, when it does happen and it does it like that, I'm sorry. Uh, still trying to get the hang of this. It's pretty dark, but I think it's stable enough for you guys to like, I don't know, see the sights. I haven't tried running earlier just to see if it was crazy. We'll review this later, see if the video is good. But uh, also with this gimbal, it's like too close to my face. I have to always like stretch out my arm to do this. <sighs> All right, it's kind of like, Part of Tumon, and over here we did a walk earlier around here. This is like the what do you call that? The middle part of Tumon. Uh, it was a cool walk earlier. You know, some, something I haven't done. Seen also just like this one. We haven't really uh, did night walks. Usually when I'm here in Tumon at nighttime, it's either I'm skating through or you know, like I mean, just coming through. Food. We're gonna go ahead and lift my face again. Show you more views. Just over here, this lot, uh, usually on Christmas time, they do like uh, Christmas lights. They haven't done it in a while. Pandemic and you know, typhoon. That right there is something I, I wish people don't do. Usually tourists, yeah. They don't on their light when they're driving. Pretty sketchy, you know? And Guam's already dark as it is. Like some of our lights here, if you can see this one. That one doesn't even work. Probably Typhoon got that one. But yeah, some street lights work, some don't. So we'll go ahead and just keep going for this walk. Um, also, I know that Red Lobster recently pulled out of this area here in Tumon Sands. Uh, there's no more Red Lobster. It's now just whatever. This whole area, this whole building, I talked about this earlier. There's no more Red Lobster. Chili's is still there. Chili's is doing good. I like Chili's. Uh, and then Olive Garden, which is weird because I've never ate there yet. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not sure about all the high-end boutiques that are still there, but this Tumon Sands Plaza, it's seen better days, to be honest. What I'm noticing now on the streets is it's actually like a lot of just walkers and runners. Hey, Jen. What's up, Jen? <clears throat> I'll be back soon. <laughs> We're just gonna go. We'll probably go around here and then turn her back around. I'm not so sure if I took a, a good walking route. It's a little dead around this area. But hey, you know, it's a different uh, view at nighttime. This is the cracked egg. I know it's like a breakfast place that they do. This building also has, uh, you used to have like a JT's in a cell, like a Filipino in a cell with that one JT guy. But it wasn't good, the service wasn't good, and the food wasn't good, and it was just pretty sad. It was like right over here. It was located right there, JT's in a south. 
But you know, over time, they went out of business right before the pandemic. And then we have Snow Monster over here. Yeah, so again, guys, this, this live stream is really random. It's just uh, me trying to test out this gimbal. You know, like I'm trying to test it out. I don't know if you can see that, what I'm doing with the gimbal. I'm like moving it around. But, you know, I right hear Snow Monster. And also, it's sad to see that this uh, Gabrielle's restaurant, it's like an Italian place. They're, not, they're no longer there. They're no longer existent. Snow Monster looks like they're doing good for themselves. Yeah. And of course, right here is Burger King. They just recently upped their hours. Wow, it's pretty dark here, huh? Hopefully, it's still good. You know, because usually when I do walks and it's a nighttime, it's a little bad of quality because it's too shaky. Hopefully this gimbal helps. It's Burger King. I'm not using the app actually for this uh, gimbal. I'm just using the gimbal as is. Because uh, the app I used to go live streaming with is called Prism. And uh, you can't zoom in with this gimbal. You have to like manually do it with your hand. I'm not so sure how live IRL streamers do it or people. But yeah. I do got a... Shout out to all the IRL streamers, especially the ones in Japan or used to be in Japan. I like watching Jake and Bake. I don't know if you guys watch that. Or uh, Rob, Rob, I forgot what his thing is called. V, D, G, D, V, something like that. They call him the Angel of Shibuya. Uh, those are cool live streamers that I used to like. We were here earlier this morning to try to check out the Habibi. Habibi. But uh, yeah, this. This right in front of me, this road is actually called Happy Landing Road. Uh, I think we're gonna cross this. Actually, we'll just head back. Not bad for a, for a test. But I'm not so sure uh, the views in Tumon are like, you know, pretty rad to see at nighttime. Before it was cool, it was such a party, party place, party central. They called it Pleasure Island. I'm running right now. I don't know if you can see it or if you noticed. But yeah. Let's go try. Let's go try running. I think it's a good time to hope if you were to wear, work out, you could run in Tumon. No try. <laughs> I must look fucking dumb. But I'm testing out this this gear as i said we're just testing there we're just testing the gear for the gimbal so we're seeing if, it, if, it, if it's good for running and apparently it does look good because you know when i do use gopro the quality is more worse yeah that's how you have to do it with this with the stick your hand out it's pretty tiring i'm gonna slow down all right Thanks up, Kim. I will back, bro. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm right now just testing this Osmo Mobile 2. It's pretty hard to figure out this thing, but it's just a test. Right here. Earlier I passed by it, but I forgot to tell you guys that at nighttime, I never see this open in daytime. At nighttime, this is where Hambros is at. That road right there, it's right near Two Sands. You pull into this road and you can go into Hambros. It's also a restaurant, burger joint. It's pretty cool. The only people I do see out in the streets right now are tourists and or military. Military people, personnel. Yeah. All right. Catch my breath there. Oh, I can't be running. Hey, uh, let me jump in the comments. KSM, KSM. Any place you want to see? Sang some Kim. Any place you want to see in Tumon while I'm here right now? Let me know in the comments. This is a Wednesday night. I forgot that it's 
actually dead because I'm pretty sure all the tourists and uh, the locals and whoever else knows about it, they're at the night market. Wednesday night market in Naganya. It's a, uh, it's like a night market. I don't know what to describe it as. Cultural night market in Naganya. There's a barbecue. There's some cool shows. There's a caravel ride. There's some like rock climbing and stuff. Uh, let me. Uh, are you having dinner and taking a walk? Actually, no. I, I ate pizza earlier, and uh, I really want to. Whoa. I really want to kill time um, using the using the you know DJI Osmo 2. Careful dogs. Uh, actually, I'm not scared of dogs. Uh, even the wild dogs here. They're the bully, random bully dogs here. They're okay. They're not gonna chase you. They're not gonna bite you on Guam. They'll just bark at you, you know. But if you just keep walking by, or you're kind of scared of, if you're scared of dogs, they won't bite you. They'll just go away. So, thank you for the consideration about dogs. But you don't really see that much stray dogs in Tumon. It's getting dark. But yeah, like I said, you don't really see that much stray dogs in Tumon. It's very rare. Um, there's actually this cool event happening in, in uh, Aganya, maybe February. It's for dogs or for animals. It's, I think it's like paws for pets or something. It's a cool event for animal lovers and people that adopt, you know, strays and more. Uh, but yeah, we're back in almost the heart of Tumon. As I said, this live stream is really random. I didn't think I was going to go live streaming uh, right now, you know? But I figured, why not try it at nighttime, this gimbal? Why not try this gimbal at nighttime with the iPhone uh, and see how good of a quality it is and also kill the, the leftover data because tomorrow's February. Yeah. Is this Sandcastle? I'm not so sure. Maybe we'll go through. Uh, we'll go through somewhere to show you uh, views of Tumon. Also, for those wondering why I always do Tumon, is because the quality of the Wi-Fi is better here in Tumon for live streaming. And also, uh, yeah, I'm usually in the area of Tumon. I don't live in Tumon, guys. I wish I did, but not really. Yes, this skate spot. Also, here's Anemos. This is like a Mediterranean restaurant. I uh, haven't seen them open at nighttime, but usually I do see people on like Guam foodies. Oops, there's a gimbal dying out on me. Hold on, guys. We'll try to on this bad boy again. There we go. I don't know. The gimbal just decides to die when it wants to die, you know? Let me feel it. I don't think it's overheating just wants to die it gives out when it wants to but it's cool because we're just testing it we're getting a feel for it but i think i think it like it dies out every 10 minutes for whenever like whenever it does you know okay right here we got the tristan eaton mural love crepes again with the music over here but who cares you know we're just going for a walk we're gonna enjoy this you guys enjoy this sights right here while i yeah i just chill go for a walk i think the rotation is a little too strong like you know when i turn like this i think i gotta like slow it down But yeah, virtual walking tour. You know, I love this. I've been on this since pandemic times. It's pretty interesting. ABC store, it's not the one I usually go to, but yeah. Oh, KSM, KSM. My first uh, and honeymoon hotel is Hyatt. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we just passed by. You should have told me we could have went and visit Hy Hyatt. But uh, maybe next one we'll go high. We'll go through there. I just I used to like just be a bum and just chill here and drink beer every every day before you. Did you know that? 
when I worked at uh, this strap over here called DNA. And then I would go out and try to like uh, look for chicks at bars. Nampa would be the word. I wonder now if people still do that around here, especially in Tumon, like Nampa, which is like a pickup artist. I mean, that's a lot of a common thing in Japan, I believe. It's the song right now. We're gonna keep passing. We gotta speak a little louder just so this music, you know, I don't care, whatever. But yeah, so this right here used to be a Godiva Cafe. I mean, I always say this in all my walks, but yeah. For those who just joined and started watching my my, my video in this channel, uh, yeah, I do a lot of two-mile walks. This used to be Godiva Cafe. It used to be really good. I used to work there as well. And then here's Underwater World doing renovations. I guess you can't pass through here anymore. Remember guys, not Underwater World anymore. It's called Aquarium of Guam. Right there, it's Aquarium of Guam. I guess they got bought out by Ducid and it's not Underwater World anymore. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to just like have it like no talk and just walking on this channel. Like, there you go. Whoa. I don't have a tripod for this to be held. But yeah. This is a Wednesday night here in Tumon. This also used to be called Outrigger, but now it's called Ducet Beach. And the one, one, the one more in is a little more pricey. It's called Ducet Tani. Uh, we'll go ahead and walk. Maybe we'll go through here since we went and went, went, went down that way. We'll go through here. What do you guys feel? Yeah, we'll, we'll just do the walk. Just go straight. But instead of going up, we'll go to the sidewalk on the side. Do power outages occur frequently these days? Thanks, uh, Kim. Do power outages occur frequently on Guam? Yes. That is actually right. It's crazy because they're actually raising our power bills and they're still doing like these power outages. And here and there, every other month, they minus like $100 to say sorry that they're, because they're trying to build a new power plant on Guam. And then also they just like, they just had this new bill trying to build a nuclear, a mini nuclear power plant on Guam. But it's like, of course, there's a lot of petitions saying no. But yes, there's a lot of uh, power outages that do occur. Daily. There's actually a schedule. They give a schedule under if uh, if you follow Guam Power Authority on Instagram, they'll put a schedule of when they're gonna turn off the power on Guam. It's a little weird, but that's like island life here. It's very chill, you know. Very island life here. Very chill here. This island life on Guam. You never know the quality of the Wi-Fi is bad. Still, and there's power outages every other day. It's crazy. I mean. It's just because the super typhoon kind of ruined a lot and also pandemic ruined a lot. So, but mostly the typhoon. We're gonna go ahead and stop, stop my face and more of the views. There you go. I really wish I was out here in Japan, Tokyo really, uh, out there vlogging. Got a shout out to my one friend, Chris James. Chris James Live. He does uh, also IRL streams here and there. Uh, and yeah, it's cool watching real life. It's a relief. I'm gonna jump in the comments, guys. Sang Sub Kim says, it's a relief that the place has been restored a lot though. I think everyone must have had a hard time. Yes, a lot of people had really a hard time. Some people lost their whole homes and stuff. It's pretty sad. Uh, right now we're all still struggling. Also with the pandemic, a lot of people lost jobs. A lot of businesses closed down. But, uh, you know, it's still nice seeing the, the resilience of uh, the local people here on Guam, you know, still make a living. I know a lot of people are moving off of Guam, finding a better life in the States, but yeah. Uh, we'll go walk up a little more since it's crossing time. J 
JP Superstore is over there. We don't really take this road right here. So, and also uh, what's weird is this building here, this is fairly new, this area. I thought it would be like a cool get together meeting spot if they built something here. Uh, you know, kind of like in Shibuya, cause this is my mini Shibuya crossing. And then like right over here at this spot would be really cool if they had like a little Hachiko or something. Cause it kind of is like that. If, if you think about the layout of Tumon and Guam. How about the gun issue, tourist debt issue? KSM, KSM. I apologize so much for that because it's just people who are drug addicts that got released from jail, wasted their money on gambling, and then wanted to go rob a tourist, any tourist they could find. It's very sad. Maybe we'll go, uh, maybe we'll go walk over there. But yeah, so uh, that's very a very sad topic because I know that since that happened, a lot of Korean tourists has canceled their uh, reservations to come to Guam and they started getting scared because Guam is dangerous. It's pretty sad. Here, let me show you. This is, it's because of the, you know, again, because of Super May Typhoon Maywar, it's pretty dark in this area. There's no light, but right here's eggs and things. But continuing on to that topic about the tourists being shot, uh, is it safe these days? on Guam. In Tumon, I would say yes, you still have cameras, you still have uh, the Guam Visitors Bureau uh, patrol guards walking around. They're the one that wears yellow. They walk around and check if uh, people are safe and they help people cross roads. It's really dark here. But yeah, so they help people cross roads and they, they also kind of watch over. So most of these street lights, I'll, I'll try to find one. But most of these street lights, right, if you look at, I think, the crossings or whatever, you will see surveillance cameras that uh, they use for, you know, all that stuff. Which also helped in finding those killers, which uh, it's sad to say that the one guy, the main guy who shot the killer, uh, he got so afraid of going back to jail and was probably sad of what he did, that he killed himself. Oh, it looks like it's gonna rain. But Guam is safe. Um, but the drug issue, maybe that's a different topic. That's pretty sad. Here, check this out. If you could see that. If you could see this, right there, straight ahead. It's a surveillance camera. Right here, this one right here. There's a surveillance camera right over here. I don't know where it points at, but it watches, you know, a tourist gets it a little bit safer here. Uh, over here's Bung's Cafe. We haven't been here in a while. This is Gogio. Okay, let me jump in the comments. Sasha Muscle. Ooh, that little king. Everyone should break them cameras. Uh, hey Sasha, uh, I don't know what are you talking about, but I guess, yeah, yeah Sasha, yeah, yeah Sasha Muscle, I guess. Alright, so this is Tokyo. It's a self-grilling, it's kind of like Yakinuku restaurant, uh, but yeah, it opens 5 and closes at 10. Over here you have Bung's Cafe, they serve taiyaki and ice cream, soft serve ice cream. They're looking good, looking popular still. Yeah, Bung's Cafe. You got a massage parlor right over here. We're gonna go ahead and cross over. Yeah. Going. KSM, KSM. Uh, I'm actually gonna go walk to the area where the guy, the tourist, got robbed and uh, shot at. Very unfortunate, made Guam look bad. But, uh, oops, gimbal died. Let's go try to fix that again. But yeah, we'll go over there with that area. Kind of give you uh, a feel of the area. Okay, we're alive. I'll, uh, I'll, give, I'll walk over to that area, show you a feel of the area. Kind of see how Tumon is, see if it's safe. All right, Pacific place. I showed you the cameras that are in the random lights every other every other pole 
you know, cameras. That keeps Guam a little safe, or Tumon, keep the tourists safe, because you know our economy depends on tourism. We have Umaru, Nippon Shokudu, Shokudo. Umaru restaurant, I like that place. And then Lit restaurant bar up there. Right here, lucky us. Over there on my right, you can see the, what is that called? Tagada, hey guys. Tagada uh, Funfair theme park over there. And yeah, this is the Western Resort. But yeah, uh, again, it's dark. You see it? It's very dark here. Very dark here. If we keep going all the way down, if we keep going all the way down to that area where it's called Gun Beach, ironically, it's called Gun Beach. That's probably where, or it's not probably where, I know exactly where it is, you know, where the tourists got robbed. But just down this area is where it is. As you can, as you can see, I mean, not only in Tumon, but all around in Guam, we do need lights. We do, we do need street well, uh, sidewalks, we do need street lights. Not only in the streets, we need in our parks, our skate parks as well. But yeah, as you can see, this is the area. I think the couple that, you know, the unfortunate couple that, uh, you know, got robbed and the man lost his life. I think their hotel is over here, Lote, or uh, I forgot that hotel, it's called Subaki Towers. It's very close by, but as you can see, it's pretty dark, you know, and not that much foot traffic or people. So maybe that's why those those killers, those robbers, decided to rob them here in this area. So, we got a trolley passing by right over there. Uh, let me jump in the comments. Sang Sub Kim. Bro, when I visit Guam, I often visit Tokyo Mart. Is there a place to get Japanese ingredients in other places? Not bro. Uh, bro, I know, I understand. Thank you, man, bro. Yes, there's actually a lot of places in Guam that you could get uh, Japanese ingredients. Um, Tokyo Mart might be the best one, but there is random ones. That I just can't think of it on top of my head. This is like a solar light that's turned on, but there is. I mean, I like Tokyo Mart too. I think uh, the Tokyo Mart in Tumuning near Koshles is the best one. <laughs> I tripped. But hey, so all of these lights, like I walk by and these LEDs just shine on. Marco, bro, give me your right, give me your night settings. Is this GoPro? No, Marco, I'm, uh, when I go live, Marco, guys, I need you guys to go check out Marco Rome's channel, subscribe to the homie. He does some really awesome vlogs, man. But yeah, this isn't uh, night settings, Marco. This is not a GoPro, this is iPhone. I'm filming on the iPhone 13. Oh, sorry. And I'm on, on my first, uh, my first gimbal. So I'm trying to learn this gimbal, Marco. I'm trying to learn this gimbal, I'm on the iPhone. I know uh, GoPro really sucks at night. And also if you're trying to go live streaming on GoPro, if you don't have good uh, quality internet, it's not gonna work. But yeah, we're not on GoPro right now, Marco. But thank you for jumping in and saying hi, Marco. Um, my night settings actually for GoPro, I make the shutter, uh, I think very low, but it becomes a little more, uh, I guess motion blurred if I do do that on the shutter settings. Uh, I'll talk to you more about it on Instagram, Marco. But hey guys, Marco Roams is in the chat or in the group or in the live stream. That's pretty cool. Shout out to the homie Marco Roams. Okay, so as you can see, we walk through there pretty dark. Now this is the only light, which is the Lote Hotel area. Massive bus passing. But yeah, we're going through, we're going for a pretty long walk today. I'm not so sure data will die or not hey Marcos let me jump back in this is uh, Hotel Lote uh, we're gonna jump back in comments thanks bro I need to do a couple lives yeah I mean you know the differences between like how we vlog and then also live streaming I try to do it all. I don't try to stick to one niche but I do like uh, IRL streamers you know, especially when they're in Japan or like hell even like in the city you know but hey Marco yeah you do need to do some lives uh, you know, uh, Travel with Chris, your homie, the one that you just went to Thailand with. That guy, he does like Instagram lives on his phone, but he does it the uh, horizontal way. Not this, uh, or I don't know, vertical way, horizontal way, whatever. He doesn't do the, he doesn't do the YouTube way, he does the Instagram way. I just saw his live in uh, Thailand recently. 
uh, he was talking about like he's he's in Bangkok. Yeah, Chris, travel Chris, he's in Bangkok. But yeah, I, I see him do lives on Instagram. That's how he does his live streams. And then he does vlogs for YouTube. Yeah. Hey, I'll catch you later, Marco. I hope you're enjoying Davao City in Philippines. I'll be in Philippines soon. Woohoo! Alright guys, so this is Lote Hotel. This is a pretty cool hotel. When I go in there, it's pretty nice. Uh, but we're not going in there. KSM, let me jump in and say hi. Still, I love Guam. My next visit uh, to Guam, March 20. It's my 17th trip. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for not canceling your trip to Guam. I mean, uh, March. I'm trying to think if there's a, there's a cool event in March. There's actually this cool event. It's a, it's a charter day. They have this cool event. And usually uh, the University of Guam holds a really cool uh, like event. So if you hear about, I don't know when they'll release it. Maybe I'll do it live and I'll post it. But if you hear in Guam around March, they have charter day, which is usually in the University of Guam. It's not just for the university students. I do recommend people check it out. It's pretty cool. It's a cool event. See ya, bro. Yeah, Chris is always in Thailand. Uh, yeah, Marco is checking out those ping pong shows. You know what I mean? Ping pong shows in Thailand. I'll catch you later, Marco. This is uh, Lote Hotels and Resorts. All right, so there's this cool, like, uh, used to be tennis court. See how dark it is? I'm not sure if they beefed up security since then. Hopefully I don't get, uh, you know, robbed. But yeah, uh, we're heading towards that area. I've also done a walk here. Uh, not that, not recently, but we did a walk over here. But you see how I've been walking, guys? And you can see really, this is like a Wednesday night. The foot traffic, you don't see that much people. There's a cool access way to the beach over here. I call it Wi-Fi beach because for some reason, this Lote Hotel, when you go to the beach, you can connect to the Wi-Fi while you're in the beach. So when you go down there, but I know it's called Seahorse. Seahorse Beach just over there, I believe. Or is it called Fi Fi? But yeah, so this is the Subaki Towers. It's a Japanese luxurious hotel as well as a Nikko Hotel. And it is believed that those tourists that came to Guam recently uh, that got robbed was here. I don't know if it's here. I, I, all I read is they were trying to head home from the fireworks show, but it's just down here. So if you're still watching KSM, KSM, since you brought up the subject of is Guam safe and you know the shooting uh, and robbery of those tourists this is actually the area you know look how bright it is on this area over here you know but if you could see we're not gonna go all the way over there I just think it'll be weird you know like okay look behind me guys there is like no one no foot traffic and it's about, I'm not sure, maybe like 8 o'clock. But yeah, so you see no foot traffic, no people, just a lot of cars passing through. There's no more tourists. It's still lit. It's pretty bright over here. But as you can see, it's pretty bright, you know. But just down there, if you could see, and over here is the Nico Hotel, Subaki Hotel. And of course now we find, we find see like joggers or runners. But if you could see just down there, I'm not going to go there. We'll stop. We'll stop the thing all the way over here. Let's do a little zoom, okay? Over there, in this turn right here, where that car is right there, that little dark alleyway, very all the way over there, that's where the Korean tourist was robbed and shot at. So as you can see, they were already heading, they were really close to heading home to their hotel from there, but you know, they went to Gun Beach. Gun Beach is just down there. So they're really close and then, I think this was their hotel, but you know, some unfortunate things got them. Hey brother, half a day. Just uh, live streaming. So, see, so this, this area here is safe. As you can see, you got the brother out here doing his thing for the, uh, the people crossing over to their parking. So uh, to answer your question, is Guam safe? I would say it is. Just don't piss off the locals. And if you feel like you're not in a safe zone, just leave. But yeah, Guam is safe just like everywhere else. It's just like the saying, you know? Like uh, that one, I had like experiences of when I 
when I traveled to the Philippines, you know, there's a saying about like, oh, don't go here, it's dangerous, all this stuff. But it's really, everywhere is dangerous. Anything can be, nope. You have to die right when I'm trying to be all inspirational and you know, whatever. Okay, here we go. This, this gamble died out on me again. There, we're back, we're alive, I think. Oh, yeah, so yeah, like I was saying, everywhere and anything can kill you, you know? It's just, if it's your time, it's your time and all this other shit. But like, like I was saying, man, everywhere people say this place is dangerous don't go to this place and i'm pretty sure you see travel vloggers go out to crazy places you know like my homie marco marco Rome's. he went to like the craziest slums dangerous place they told me not to go here uh in philippines and he made it out alive because it's not about just the place your environment yes but it's about the people you know if the people there want to do you wrong then it's your time to get uh you know Get in some scruffles or whatever, then there you go, man. Wow, bus. I don't really know how to do this GoPro or sorry, gimbal, but yeah. If it's your time, it's your time. If the place is dangerous and you're in the bad place at wrong time, wrong time, wrong time, bad place, uh, whatever they say, wrong place, bad time, then there you go. But is Guam safe? Is Guam still safe? And it's too dark. Is Guam still safe, you ask? I would say yes, you know? It's just a matter of, you know, not luck, but bad luck if you're in the bad place at the wrong time. I argue with your opinion. I think it can always be dangerous anytime, anywhere. Yes, I agree. Sorry, you don't, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't argue. I agree with your opinion. Thank you, Sang, Sum, Ki Sang, Sub King. I wish I knew your real name so I could not call you by your username. But yeah, you're right. You know, uh, everywhere can be dangerous, anytime, anywhere. I could get robbed right now or stabbed, but it just, it's just the timing. You know, I mean, it's just your, it's like fate. You know, I'm not so sure if your time is time, but you know, if you believe in a higher, I guess, a higher, you know power and of course man you have nothing to worry about dude if you believe in god and all that stuff uh, good stuff you have nothing to worry about if your time is your time but yeah uh guam is still safe but again uh it can be like everywhere else you can have it bad you can have it good it just matters of where you are wrong time wrong place or great time great place I think we went pretty long on this uh, virtual walking tour. This is a really long uh, walk and talk. I wonder if you guys enjoy it. I'm not so sure, but uh, KSM, KSM, like you said, uh, is Guam safe? I showed you, this is the whole area. I showed you where that thing happened. Like Guam and Tubon is pretty safe. Tubon, it's pretty safe, okay? My honest opinion is if you go around elsewhere and you're walking around, just don't trust anyone you first meet. You know what I mean? So just be wary. It's just up to people. So hopefully, I don't know. I, I'm rambling on about this, but it's a big topic. I don't think it's a little topic. I think it's a big topic when it deals with uh, safety and how Guam, Guam has kind of changed, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, Guam has actually uh, increased in a lot of drug addicts. So a lot of like every other day on the news, they do like traffic stops and they see, um, you know, people with drugs, meth, and it's pretty messed up. And of course, like people, they get pulled over, of course, drugs again. And also people that, you know, get into fights, people that, I'm not just judging it, but it's just what I see on the news. It's pretty sad, especially for Guam. I think we could do better because Guam is a paradise which we kind of neglected for about a few decades. Uh, we didn't like neglect it, okay? Let me just rephrase everything I said. Guam is a paradise, but we let we let some demons in and you know it be kind of kind of ruined some parts of Guam. Maybe that's better. We're trying to get all philosophical for all you guys on this live stream. Even if it's supposed to be a test, we're going pretty pretty deep, man. We're almost an hour in this live stream walk. 
but we're heading back okay this is club foxy this is tops therapy this actually used to be red dragon chinese restaurant it used to be one of my first Jap uh, chinese restaurants that i went to it was really good i really liked eating there this i love chocolate on past live streams you've seen me go in there and show you how it looks on my right over here you have francis bake shop which every time i do come they're sold out so it's pretty sad but uh you gotta come early for this one because this place always sells out or they're either closed francis bake shop big house uh, over there simon lagones i forgot his last name the creator of tokidoki painted that he came to guam he painted that stuff yeah we're heading back to the heart of Tumon, and then we'll end the live stream there. Maybe we'll cross over this way because we went down this way earlier. But I don't like that crossing. This stoplight over here for tourist crossing, it doesn't work well. It lets you go when people are actually turning up the hill, so it's kind of crazy. On my right again is Weston Resort Hotel. It's a pretty cool hotel. And we have a lot of people still watching you know shout out to you guys thank you for watching um you can always say hi in the comments guys leave a hello and hi and where you're from and where you're watching from this is guam this is tumon guam i'm actually testing out a gimbal if you just got into the live stream this is the dji osmo mobile 2 that i'm testing out thank you for the video and great comments hey thank you for asking the comment thank you for asking about that it was a very good topic and it was a very cool idea to you know go over and uh show you the tumon area where the tourists got uh shot at you know ironically guys you see this guy right here right in front of me we'll show you how dangerous uh tumon is oops almost crossed that guy ran the light So, see, he didn't do anything to me. It's really not how dangerous Guam is, you know what I mean? It's pretty safe. I do like this restaurant. In here, they have these calamari legs. That's really good. I think that's my friend, Reggie. That's over there. We'll go say hi. I don't know if it is him, but we'll just pop in. <laughs> yeah, it is Reggie. Homie Reggie in there. He's doing his thing. Just saying hi. Just saying hi. I'm doing a live stream. Catch you later. So this is uh, Umaru. That's my friend Reggie. So it's nice seeing people out in Tumon. Over here is Min's. This is Club USA. One of my craziest experiences in a strip club is Club USA. You know. It's ironic. Uh, Circle K Red Cross. Good vapes. Morning, brother. Or not morning, it's evening. Good evening, bro. Bung's Cafe. Oops. So, we're heading downhill now. I'm taking a little bit of bigger steps. I'm not so sure if it's still stable or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> now it's more people here. I can hear more Japanese tourists. Yeah, we'll go ahead so you can see more tourists walking maybe they're walking home or having dinner there's a cool restaurant over here that i recommend it's called izakaya japanese restaurant you have a seoul korean restaurant here you have only pork belly i think for 20 dollars at that restaurant and this fuji ichiban ramen i miss this fuji i wish they opened that up again and uh yeah right here is the reef hotel reef hotel <clears throat> JP Superstore and of course more people crossing alright I guess the guys they're gonna cross I'm gonna cross we'll run across alright hopefully that is not as shaky but yeah and then you got tourists I look like a lot of tourists are actually like heading home you know look at that oops there you go died out again try to sorry we'll keep it stable and we are back are we back yeah we're back Whew. all right now we're back this gimbal dies out every other 
like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and it dies out. Sang Sub Kim, can I send you a message? I looked up your YouTube channel, but couldn't find where to send messages. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty tight about that one, Kim. Like I don't, uh, like I used to have my Instagram on that. And I used to have like my Facebook on that. But I don't really, uh, I don't really give it out, you know? I don't really care about uh, that kind of like, I guess social media stuff. The uh, YouTubes are just for like YouTubes. I do Instagram more for like skating and random life posts and maybe artsy photos. But that's what I do my Instagram for. So uh, maybe if you, you wanted, you could probably add me on the Instagram. Me so fat sushi. <laughs> I like that, that truck sticker. I don't know if you can see it. Let's go see it right there. Ah, oh, missed it. But yeah, uh, you can send me a message here. I, can, I read every comment, to be honest. We're back here in the Tumon Crossing. I read every comment. So if you wanted to, guys, you could send me a message here. Uh, comment. Comment on any video, even an old video, if you feel weird. Just comment on an old video. You can get a hold of me there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and leave you be with this last views of Tumon. I'm not so sure if it works. Mm. All right, okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna end the live stream here. It's an IRL walk. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was really supposed to be a gimbal test, but again, thank you guys for joining and watching. We're already like an hour in on this live stream. I'll catch you guys on the next one. My name is Mark, Visual Postcards with Mark. I'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace. I'm out.